All right guys, it's been about three days since I recorded and posted my last video when I had applied the siding cleaner to our back side of the house and the side of the house. As you can see, I mean, I feel like it did lighten up some little areas, but 72 hours later, this is still bad. Like, uh, I think this product is kind of bleach based from what I had heard and read. So it could, you could kind of tell like little splotchy areas that did lighten up, but that side is still dirty. The white siding is very dirty. And then here, didn't really make a dent at all in the stains. Like you can see some little spots, like random little spots where it did lighten up, but it definitely did not work as good as I had hoped. And then all down here, you can kind of see it started fading away but i'm definitely gonna go over it with a pressure washer that i have just a cheap pressure washer we bought maybe from lowe's or walmart years ago and let's check out the side of the house too the side of the house didn't have too much um, dirtiness but there was a couple little spots that i had sprayed in hopes that it would work but last time i checked it did not work so all the way at the top you still see some and then here you can't really see it on the camera it's very bright but there's still some splotches there and then over here towards the ground you can still see some dirtiness on the white siding so that's my project for today I'm gonna see what I can reach with the pressure washer and try to get some more of the stuff cleaned up and then I'm thinking I want to try bleach, just bleach for the white part, not so much the colored part, but maybe like spraying it down and that'll help lighten it up too, whatever I can't get with the pressure washer. But we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens with the pressure washer alone and see if I can get most of the stain off without actually having to scrub it myself. But I'm sure with the pressure washer, I'll get all of this off as well. <laughs> I am not getting very good results right now. Uh, we lost the nozzle to our pressure washer. I used to use like this flat nozzle. I would kind of spray like in a straight line. And I used to go like side by side and just do the, um, the siding like that. So it would take really like no time. I would go like swipe one, two, three, the whole thing would be done. But we lost that nozzle. So right now the nozzle that I have, it's just kind of like drawing on the, like you can see here that letter A, that's all it's getting off. So this is gonna take way longer than expected. I don't know if I can find a replacement for that. Let me turn this off. Not sure if I can find a replacement for it, or I think I'm just gonna tackle this by hand maybe with a ladder I can get up there and really give it a good scrub down spray some bleach on the bottom side because I really just want to get this done I don't want to have to wait for any parts to come definitely don't want to hire somebody to come clean this for us or buy another uh, pressure washer so but I got some of it off and even with the pressure washer and even with the detergent it's still leaving behind like traces of dirtiness so I think to get a really good thorough clean, I'm going to have to do this, especially this bottom side by hand. Like the pressure washer is not making a dent. It's just kind of drawing lines all over it. So that's kind of frustrating, but I want to get this done. I want to get this house looking nice and clean as fast as possible. I haven't checked out the side of the house over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I don't know where that piece went though. I wish I still had it because that made cleaning the house pretty fast. So this side, the white part isn't that bad, but definitely some algae and some mildew up there. Not too much though. It's like in little splotches. And then the white, I'm not sure why the white gets so dirty back there in the, the back of the house. This is a lot of work to try to get 
done by hand. I'm not even sure if I have an extension cord that's gonna get this side of the house. I did buy a brush, like on a long, a long handled brush, so I can always, maybe with like some detergent, get to scrubbing it that way. The front of the house isn't too bad at all, just some little areas. So, yeah, it looks like I might be doing this by hand if I want to get it done at any point. I think that's what I'll use, that brush that I had purchased that has like a long handle, like how a broom or a mop. It's like a brush, a heavy duty brush on a long stick. So I'm going to try to scrub that, but I'm going to have to get some bleach so I can really get these white parts clean because that's the part that looks the worst to me. And then the, like the beige tan color siding should be definitely very easy to scrub off with the hard brush. Like this stuff wipes off with my fingers, but with the the tip that my my thing has, the pressure washer, it's just not doing what it needs to be doing. So I guess I won't be using that anymore. I am going to give you guys a full view of how the house looks once it's completely done. It's just going to take me a little bit of time to do it. guys everything is looking a lot better I think it's been maybe a week and a half to two weeks since I last picked up the camera on the house progress cleaning up the house you can see a very big difference so what I ended up doing with the bottom white siding it's still a little bit dirty there but look at the difference especially over here it's almost looking brand new and white what I ended up doing was diluting some bleach with water in a spray bottle and just went and hand sprayed the siding. I did that maybe three times um, and it has cleaned it up really good. I have to go back to it right there and it has like very small spots where I still need to spray a little bit more but I haven't done no scrubbing, no um, pressure washing or nothing, just bleach and water. And I tried to lightly dilute it so it was really strong bleach. And just with that alone, letting it sit and then going back to it the next day, that has cleared the white parts off. So I continue doing what I was showing you when we last left off is hand scrubbing the house siding. So I am almost done. I did all of this and I've been using the ladder to get up higher. So back here, I almost got the whole back of the house done except for all the way at the very tip so that's how almost this whole side of the house was so i have like one two three four um panels left up there i think i'm gonna have my husband climb the ladder and do those or i'll try to get higher up on the ladder it's just it becomes a little bit more difficult with nobody holding the ladder so the white part looks good down here this is just wet still because i sprayed it but it is clean it's just water so that's how the back of the house looks it's almost done like I said just the tippy top over there I worked on the side over here it's still drying but all of this is way better so now what I am doing is working on the front of the house so I started working on that today and I'm doing just some bleach with water and dish detergent, the blue Dawn dish detergent. And that's how I am basically toothbrushing the house. I'm using this, the brush that I showed you in the video and just kind of hand scrubbing as I go. So this front of the house looks really nice. Still gotta get to the very top and to 
the rest of it over here but it looks really nice and I have not started working on the left side of the house yet so that will be a project on its own it's taken me way longer than what I thought doing this but I haven't been working on it every day I've been preoccupied with other stuff so that is how it's looking and that's how I resolved the problem with nothing else working just kind of had to do it by hand um, I'm afraid of spraying bleach on like the beige side of the panels but the bleach mixed with water worked really good for the white parts just have to go back and do some little teeny tiny spots but it's a big difference than what it was and then just good old-fashioned hand scrubbing for the rest of it hopefully it's the cleaning that I'm doing is going to last a long time and by the time we're ready to list our house it will still be nice and clean so that is what I'm going to work on today it's pretty warm out here but I'm going to try to get at least an hour at least the front of the house done that way I can say I almost finished the back of the house and I finished the side of the house and pretty much done with the, the front. Then I just have to tackle the other side of the house and then I'll be done with this. I'll be able to cross it off my to-do list. So I just wanted to show you what it was that I ended up doing and how it looks when I did that. I think it looks way better than what it looked like before. If you remember when I did the before shots of this little area here and the before shot of over there, how I only have that top part left. That's pretty much how it all was at one point. So pretty happy with the results and I just cannot wait to be done with this part of getting our house ready to list. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for some more house projects we have coming up and the time to list is coming up sooner than we think so we're very excited about that. Just trying to work extra hard to get everything done in time.